Hey guys, it's Olga here. In my last video, I asked you if you guys wanted me to do a personal tag, and a lot of you said yes. So today, I am doing 50 random facts about me, so I hope you will enjoy it. Let's get started. The reason I did not do a drama life is because I am terrible at drawing. My drawing skills developed up until I was 5 years old and then they just stopped. I speak four languages, I speak English, French, Russian and teeny bit of Spanish. I also studied Latin for three years, but I forgot all of it. I was born in Moscow, Russia and I moved to Canada when I was almost 16 with my family. So now I live in Toronto, Canada. A lot of you are asking me what is my accent, so yes, this is a Russian accent. But I actually call it an Olga accent because I feel like I just pronounce certain things weirdly like no one else. When I was little, up until I was about 5 years old, I had very few hairs. And whenever it was a picture day in kindergarten, I just remember looking like this. I had three hairs, and back then in Russia, huge bows were very much in fashion. So I had my three hairs, and I had a huge bow on my head, and it looked like a loofah, so I always looked ridiculous. Only recently I learned how to swim, before that I could not, but I am still afraid of the deep waters. For me, for some reason, I need to be able to touch the ground with my feet when I'm swimming, and if I know that I cannot touch it no longer, I will start freaking out. After my first year of university, I went to Argentina to volunteer and I was there for about 5 weeks. I worked in local community centers and I worked with kids uh, who were about... Koshka! Why are you trying to kill me? And to be honest, it was probably the best experience of my life. It changed me in so many ways. I feel like it did make me a better person. A lot of you probably already know that I am a cat lady. I love cats so much. I have a kitten named Olive. Look who came to visit. Look who's here. No, oh, you don't want to be on camera? No. No. I got my love for cooking from my grandmas. Both of my grandmas were really good cooks. So when I was little, I always tried helping them in the kitchen. I would always want to chop something, put something in the pot. Last year, I was 100% vegan for four months. I lived in France for half a year, I was there on exchange and it was probably one of the best time of my life. I love Europe so much and I miss it. I graduated from a business school with a degree in international business specializing in accounting. One of my favorite animals is a koala bear. I actually have a toy of a koala bear that I've had probably since I was 10 or 11 years old. And this is her and this is my koala bear. As you can tell, she's very old, but I love her still so much. This is probably the only toy I have loved. The rest of the toys I either given away or I have them in boxes somewhere. One of my dreams actually is to go to Australia for a couple of months and work in a koala sanctuary where I could interact with koalas on a daily basis and just be able to feed them and touch them. I don't know, I'm just fascinated with those animals and I think it would be so cool working with them. This summer I turned 25. Are you surprised? Are you? I don't know, for some reason I'm convinced people think I'm 16. When I was little, from the ages from 9 to 11, I was in a band and we were singing, we were performing pretty much every weekend. We had a CD out and we had music videos. It was pretty interesting. I think it was a very exciting time in my life. Unfortunately, I couldn't pursue it any longer because I moved to a different part of Moscow and it was too far for me to go back to my music lessons, so I had to stop and now I just sing in the shower. While I was in the band, I almost became an actress. One day I was staying at my grandma's place and I was actually really sick. So we get a call from a movie director and he said that he saw me in one of our music videos and he wanted to see if I would be able to come to audition for his, one of his upcoming movies. He needed a lead actress who could also sing. And I actually didn't get to talk to him. My grandma was talking to him and she's like, are you crazy? She's sick. Goodbye. So my acting career never happened. One of my pet peeves is when people are rude to waiters. I don't know why I have it because I've never worked in a restaurant. I don't drink coffee and I never did, I just don't like the taste of it. I love traveling so much. I think it makes you a better person, I think it makes you grow as a person. And I actually sometimes get a little depressed if I don't travel for a long time. I just have this urge like I need to pack my bags and I need to go somewhere. I got my ears pierced when I was 7 years old and the reason for it is because my mom decided I should get a very short haircut. It was very, very short. I looked like a boy, that's what I thought. So in order for people not to think that I was a boy, I decided I must get earrings. 
I have two siblings, I have a younger brother and a sister and you probably met my sister in one of my videos where we did a tea challenge and I love them so much. I hate the environment of the gym, I could never work out at the gym, I just find it way too distracting. So instead I work out at home, I have a DVD for cardio and muscle building exercises, but I also love going to yoga. So this is the only type of exercising that I would do in a social environment. One day I would love to have a huge family, I'd love to have a lot of kids and a lot of cats. And ideally I see myself living on a farm, well not a farm necessarily, but I'd love to grow my own fruits and vegetables. I've never been good at sports, just name and sport and I suck at it. One of the weird facts about me is that for some reason I cannot go to places alone. And my sister hates that about me because I usually drag her with me, whether I need to go to the bank, I need to quickly buy something at the grocery store or anything like that. I just don't feel comfortable going there by myself. I love being by myself at home, I actually need it sometimes but outside i just need to have company i've always been a girly girl growing up i love dresses and i refuse to wear pants i have a weird fascination with cemeteries a lot of cemeteries in canada are very well maintained so they're kind of like parks and i like to visit them and take walks there i actually named my brother when my parents got home from the hospital is there a special name for hospitals where they give birth anyways so my, my parents got home from the hospital, they still haven't picked the name for my brother. And I was six years old back then and they asked me, what should we name your brother? And I didn't know much better, I said, why don't we name him Andre? And Andre is the name of my dad. And they said, why not? So now my dad is Andre, my brother is Andre. I've never broken any bones. I have an addiction to tea. I drink four to five cups of tea a day, but don't you worry, I drink caffeine-free tea. I actually have a tea with me right here. I kind of have a favorite tea to start my morning, and then I have favorite teas for during the day, and the tea I have before bedtime. So yeah, I would much rather be hot than cold. You guys don't know this about me, but I actually make a huge mess when I cook. Somehow, I just end up using all the plates, all the spoons in my kitchen, and when I'm finished filming, it just looks like a mess and as if I was cooking for weeks and I have to clean it for hours and hours. My skin is very sensitive and it doesn't tan. Instead, I just get burnt and then it peels and I'm white again. I love cooking for others more than I like cooking for myself. When I cook for myself, I don't really put that much effort into making it look pretty. I'm just like, mm, whatever, just eat it quickly. I love, love bananas, but I hate everything with a banana flavor, like banana juice, banana muffin, banana bread. Mm -mm. I do not like peanut butter. I had my first date when I was nine years old. This guy from my class, who was the most gorgeous guy in my grade, asked me out and I was so happy, I remember. And so he took me out and we got some ice cream. He walked me home, we held hands and it was very age appropriate, but it was very cute. I collect cookbooks. I actually buy a country every, I buy a country, oh, yeah. Money everywhere. I collect cookbooks. I buy a new cookbook every time I visit a new country as a souvenir. I never tried smoking and I don't think I ever will. When I was 11, I went on a trip to India with my dad and I got attacked by an elephant, a monkey and a goat. I am addicted to watching YouTube. I watch so many YouTube videos. It's a problem. And my favorite YouTubers always change kind of, but the ones that are always my favorite, who I always follow are Lexi Hair, so Mimi and Layla. I love those girls so much. They inspired me in so many ways. I love Evelina and Lily, Superwoman. Oh my God, the funniest girl on YouTube. If you guys need a good laugh, you need to watch one of Lily's videos. I am terrible, terrible at doing my nails. I always mess them up. The same day I paint them, even though I wait for an hour, I don't move, I don't do anything, maybe just type a little bit, but I somehow mess them up and I'm just like, well, what's the point? I'm gonna ruin them anyways, what's the point? I don't have any allergies. I hate how my name sounds in English. I think Olga sounds so harsh. If you were to pronounce my name in Russian, you'd actually say Olga with a very soft L. Uh, but no one would call me that because in Russia we always have a formal and an informal version of your name. So the informal version for my name is Ola. But no one here can say Ola either just because 
again it's a soft sound so instead they say Ola, Ola, which is not my name so I just have to deal with Olga I actually like the name in Russian I just don't like how people say it in English when I was 14 years old I dyed my hair for the first time I actually got highlights there were very tiny strips of white very light blonde hair and it damaged my hair so much and it looked like I was just having gray hair so ever since I've never dyed my hair again I often have a craving for pickles and no it's not because I'm pregnant when I was a teenager I was obsessed with the game Sims I could play for hours and hours I think I once played the entire day well actually probably wasn't even once but at some point I was just like I could go to parties and meet new people in real life. Hmm, why don't I do that instead? <laughs> when I was in grade 7, I was actually bullied. And it got to a point where I was afraid for my life and my well-being because I was being told things like, watch your back, we're gonna beat you up. And this one girl, she actually turned the entire class against me and nobody wanted to talk to me. Nobody wanted to even sit beside me. And I remember it was really hard. Thinking back now, I, I could not believe that little me actually handled all of that. Eventually, I did have to change schools. Um, but I have to tell you that if you are going through a tough situation right now, if you are being bullied in any way, please know that it will get better and um, talk to your parents because parents do know better at the end of the day. I, for example, did not want to tell my parents for the longest time just because I didn't want them to worry about me, but it was them to help me solve this situation. So if you feel like you're all alone, just know that I'm here for you. If you need someone to talk to, you can always write me a personal message. Sometimes I feel like it's easier to talk to strangers about problems like that so just know that i care about you and i love you and if i can help you somehow i will most definitely try and do so so this is it i hope you guys had fun getting to know me a little bit better and i hope you don't think i'm a weirdo now but please please let's make it a two-way conversation i would love to get to know you better as well because i don't think about you as my subscribers like who am i to have followers justin bieber um yeah like you guys are my friends so if you can please write something about yourself in the comment section down below you can write me your whole life story or you can just write me one random fact if you don't know what to write just tell me um where are you from i'd love to know that because i think it's so cool that i'm here in toronto and you guys are all over the world and we're able to talk to each other if you have more questions for me definitely leave them in the comments down below and i will try to answer them and if i don't answer them in the comments i'll just make a separate video just answering your questions directly i have some exciting recipes coming on my channel so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe please Please subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.